Hey everyone, welcome back to the SOMO Data Geek channel. Today, I'm diving into a dynamic Amazon sales dashboard built in Power BI. Whether you are a data enthusiast or a beginner looking to enhance your dashboard skills or someone curious about how to visualize e-commerce sales effectively. So, this video is for you. Let's explore how this dashboard translates raw Amazon data into it actionable insights using innovative visuals and filters see here i am created dashboard using the amazon raw data files first i will like to explain the how many tables i'm using to create this dashboard first i will go to the model view and uh, i'm uh, used two tables of the amazon dashboard see here one is stock oriented another one is sales oriented so i'm giving relationship between the two tables is a many to many cardinality relationship uh, because based on the assignment number, assignment number because why means we have stock oriented so much of columns and patient uh, sales oriented uh, so much of columns we have available in two tables. So in the two tables connected to the many to many cardinality, it will it was using the multiple uh, complexity tax functions we can create easily. So see here I'm connected to the two table in many to many cardinality relationship. So uh, first is stack oriented. See here we have product wise, sales wise, and uh, retailer distributor wise. We have the columns and uh, everything data in the stack oriented function. See here sales oriented. What is the category? Courier status, shipment. Uh, the what is the amount? Uh, price uh, level, ship uh, service level, ship state uh, fulfillment. Uh, so everything we have in the two tables. So next I'm going to explain the table view uh, here i'm using raw data based on the amazon data set see here this is a sales oriented uh, file here we have a date order id status so this three columns and uh, this three columns is very very important to predict the uh, product wise uh, like month wise year wise quarter wise we can easily predict based on the date and uh, the next columns is very very important assignment numbers assignment number based on the assignment number only we can track both file both the table files uh, details we can track based on the assignment numbers so here uh, how many quantities uh, courier status what is the courier status the quantity what is the city uh, state or the zip code and uh, see here amount what is the amount uh, i will let you explain one thing for the data and see here quantity one amount is 1200 customer purchased one product uh, one quantity and uh, the price is uh, 1200 so i want to know so i want to know amount uh, so see here i'm created additional one column what is column uh, total amount here uh, one customer purchased one product uh, at that cost is 1200 see here i'm filtering the quantity column here customer purchase multiple products so here i'm clicking the uh, five product purchased customer details see here per product uh, cost is 1439 so they purchased a five quantity product so the total amount is 7195 so this reason only i'm created extra one additional column that column name is uh, total amount see here what is the calculation for total amount simple uh, we can calculate quantity t uh, multiply to amount so we can get total amount see amount 1200 quantity t one uh, multiply to we can get the total amount see here i'm written the formula the expansions uh, amazing amazon amount into quantity t. we can get total amount so this is the reason only i'm added one additional columns so this is sales oriented and uh, here stock oriented this is a stock oriented table uh, we have assignment number based on the assignment number and uh, what type of delivery type uh, what is the discount percentage of this product and product overview and descriptions and product details and product name product url ratings based on the customers given the ratings based on the product also see here the customer given ratings based on the product quantity and uh, that product uh, status uh, how is usable for out of five ratings the customer given the rating based on the product worth so here the seller id image based on the uh, product i'm uh, added this images based on the product uh, name wise so this is a 
raw data explanations and now i'm going to explain the dashboard overview see here i'm created three types of kpa card see this is the overall sales 89.08 million sales happen overall sales happen in this all the, based on the city and state see this is the individual sales product uh, customer uh, purchased uh, without any uh, deviations and any uh, interruptions based on the sales so 120k sales happen in the all the based on the city and state and seller count this is the uh, distributor retailers based on the count of how many stocks available how many stocks we need to purchase so based on the seller count i am added this um, stock oriented count this uh, overall stock is 19.2k available in the seller point out so here i am created status also the status we can easily track uh, how many product are cancel how many product are pending how many product to waiting for pickup and shipped how many product are shipped damaged delivered whatever whatever you want the status based on the product you can just click the single click you will get the all the result see here uh cancel how many customers cancel the product see here we can get city wise state wise and board chart uh we can uh, this chart um, see uh this chart uh, we can get uh month of uh, month wise quarter wise and uh, day wise we can get easily see here uh what about the june month 2022 quarter wise quarter two quarter three so we can easily get all the details based on how many customers cancelled and the based on the city and state see here bangalore 0 0.37 million hyderabad 0 0.33 see, this is state wise state wise we can easily track and one more thing see here this is a status column and created this based on the product details see here i'm a, i'm created this pictures based on the see i want to um, order the example boys clothing okay i want to order this i want to know the stocks and the sales details see here i'm clicking the details see here sales eight happened seller count to two we have to so see total sales by city how many uh boys clothing or sales happen in this city based on the 848 happened in the, all the cities based on the state wise also see here we have mentioned all the details based on the clothes the boys uh dangris see how many sales happen chennai 618 mysore 618 karnataka this is the state wise so what is the ship ship to happen see 618 ship to happen three sales one seller count happen so this type we can easily drive all the details in this single picture clicking option see here bag organization whatever you want to know the product details you can easily click the details and you will get the, all the product and stock oriented details here see here boys t-shirt how many sales by city by city state by state and uh, year on year month on month we can get all the uh, sales count here we can get this status also uh, we can track shipped uh, cancelled how many pending pending with the pickup shipped uh, so here i'm clicking the shift uh, option see here sales at 2380 sell account 5765 so uh, how many sales happen in the city by city and state by states and uh, we can track month on month year and year also so this is a amazon dashboard created and created using this Raphael. so it will help you for to create a dashboard and all everything and here how many states uh, so product stocks available on the i mentioned the city wise and state wise we can easily track all the details in this single click okay and uh, see and uh, that uh, wraps up, up our uh, amazon sales dashboard walkthrough this report showcase how power bi transforms raw data into actionable insights using clean visual slices and kpis if you found this helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe and uh, i have got more dashboards coming your way stay tuned and keep building amazing stories with the data thank you